Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by Manukora. Now, Manukora are the makers of beautiful single source Manuka honey that comes from New Zealand. Now, Manuka honey is very special because the honeybees only feed on the nectar from the Manuka tree. It has very unique properties, including antioxidants and prebiotics 100 times more than regular honey. Manukora very kindly sent me their best-selling 850 plus MGO Manuka honey. MGO is short for methyl glyoxal, which is the natural compound found in Manuka honey that is known for its antibacterial properties. This is what it looks like. It is so beautiful. Mm, the consistency is so smooth and the taste is complex slightly bitter but of course sweet as honey and slightly mentholated piney resinous absolutely delicious if you would like to consume it as a warm drink i would suggest allowing your boiling water to cool a bit before adding your lovely honey so you don't neutralize all those beautiful natural occurring compounds manuka honey is also really great for supporting your immune system and your gut health i like having it straight up on a spoon but you can also use it as you would regular honey on toast or drizzled on your granola or oatmeal one thing i really like about manukora is that there is a qr code that you can scan at the very top of each bottle and you can see the exact hive where your honey came from. I find the squeeze bottle a very convenient way to apply the honey, but Monocora also has these little to-go packets, a single serving, and the packaging is fully compostable. So if you'd like to indulge and try Monocora for yourself, you can click the link down below or head over to monocora.com slash Emmy to receive $25 off a starter kit, which includes Monocora's best-selling 850 plus, along with a free travel pack of honey sticks, a free wooden spoon, and a free guidebook. That's M-A-N-U-K-O-R-A dot com slash Emmy to receive $25 off their starter kit. Big thanks to Monocora for sponsoring this video so I can make better videos for all of you. Alrighty, my lovers, today we are going to be tasting fitness bread. So fitness bread has gotten popular on TikTok. The account at Danielle has made it so, I believe, and she has it with fancy butter and fancy caviar, which I'm going to try to see if fitness bread A is up to the hype and then B if fitness bread plus butter is delicious up to the hype and C if fitness bread plus butter and caviar is up to the hype. So first let's examine the fitness bread. So this style of bread may look a little bit different than the bread that we may be used to here in the States. It's quite heavy. It comes in this packaging and I think what I was most shocked by was the expiration date look at that this is good until june of next year great shelf life so our dear friend jurgen loves the style of bread which is not surprising since he's from bavaria so i have had this style of bread before it's called volkornbrot which means like whole grain bread and more specifically this is often made with einkorn which means one or single wheat it's more of an ancient variety which has higher amounts of protein and less starch this bread is often made with whole oats and whole rye as well hence the name whole grain i think what they're implying with this name fitness bread because it has higher protein content and less gluten it's implying that it's better for you so look how thinly sliced it is very uniform crumb very thin not very flexible or soft now you can eat it like this it is very flavorful there's a nice tang to it but the crumb is very different than what you might be used to here in the states it's not fluffy at all it's kind of damp and very very dense I much prefer it toasted, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. While our bread is toasting, let's talk a little bit about caviar and butter. So when I learned about the combination of fitness bread and caviar, I immediately contacted my friends over at Brown Trading, and they so very kindly sent me a selection of caviar and roe, and I cannot wait to taste them. I will put links down below to Brown Trading in case you're interested in any of these beautiful fish roes or caviar. Let's first talk about what caviar is. Caviar is the roe or the eggs of a sturgeon, which is a large, ancient looking fish. 
And that's one of the reasons why caviar is so expensive. The sturgeon have to be at least 15 to 20 years old before they start producing eggs. Rarity is another reason why caviar is quite expensive. There are specific species of sturgeon that make the best kinds of roe. You may have heard of them, Ocetra, Beluga, Kaluga. And there are specific characteristics that make caviar delicious. One is texture, is it mushy, does it pop? Generally caviar, it has a dark color. Some can be very black, some can be more gray, some can be more gold. Sometimes they're even bright canary yellow. There's a whole variety of different flavors of caviar too. And that can be more subjective based on your own taste preferences. I also got some fancy butter, it's Lupre Salé. It comes from Belgium, but it uses a French salt. This is also European style butter or cultured butter which is different than the butter we can find here in the state, which is considered sweet butter. So cultured butter is allowed to ferment a little bit, so it has a bit of a distinctive tangy flavor. So here is my bread, look at that. It's got a little bit of crust to it. All right, let's taste it toasted. Here we go, it's a Mm-hmm. Oh, toasting it, in my opinion, really improves the texture. It gives it a crispness, it dries out some of the damp quality to it, but it also enhances the crumb. It becomes chewier and more bread-like rather than being kind of dense and damp, but still very tangy and flavorful. Alrighty, let's try it with our little fancy things. Here's our fancy butter. Look at that color. This retails for $12, but I had it shipped to me. So in total, I spent $40 on this piece of butter. Look how yellow it is. Danielle says when you have this butter on your fitness bread, you should be able to see teeth marks. Look at that. It almost looks like cheese, right? <laughs> in the docky mouth. You should be able to see your teeth. Oh my gosh. This is so divine. I've never had this much butter on bread before. And when you put this much butter on it, it is like cheese. It's creamy and rich, salty, slightly tangy, fan stinkantastic. Mm. So intensely buttery. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We have two different types of caviar. These are domestic. So here is the Ocetra. Smells like the ocean. Does not smell fishy at all. This is the California one. It has a darker color to it. And this is the salmon caviar. Oh my goodness, look at that. Here's the smoked row. Oh my gosh, look at that. Those pearl sizes are smaller. Oh, they both smell slightly of the ocean. Look at the difference in pearl size. So another thing you may have heard about caviar, it's often served with a mother of pearl spoons made out of a shell. But another perfectly good option, though less elegant, is a plastic spoon. You don't want metal touching the roe or the caviar because it can impart a metallic flavor. Let's try the American caviar. This is from California. Here we go. It's a documentary. Mmm. Boy, is that ever good. Mmm. I've never had caviar like this before with butter. It is just absolutely decadent in a way that's just a perfect pairing. You've got a slightly chewy, crispy, tangy delivery mechanism that's super flavorful for this rich explosion of buttery, briny flavors. It reminds me when you have oysters on the half shell, raw oysters, and you get that delicious injection of oceany brine. The butter really enhances the oceany flavors and the richness lends that lovely buttery flavor as well. It's salty and salted with ocean sea salt. They just think it's just a perfect little storm here. Does it taste fishy at all? Not fishy, of ocean. The pearls are small and I don't feel 
a distinctive pop to the metal, but maybe that'll be different if we try the Ocetra. These pearls are a little lighter in color, more of an olive color. And we'll try that. Oh my gosh, what a decadent pile that is. Mmm. Wow. Very different. Mmm. So good. The Ocetra has more of a distinctive sphere feeling in your mouth. A little bit of a briny pop, but it has a more intense flavor to it. More of a buttery richness, deeper, oceany flavor. Not fishy, but pelagic, like deeper water. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just how it feels. Alrighty, let's try the salmon rose. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun. And there's a little bright orange spot. That's the yolk. One of my favorite sushis in the world is Ikura. Anyways, here we go. Mmm. This one is similar in flavor to the Ocetra, where it has a really big, rich, deep, oceany flavor and a big pop because the eggs are much bigger. Mmm. This is fantastic. If you like caviar, I think you'll really like Ikura. And this is much more accessible in terms of price point, and you get a lot more of it too, so you can share. But again, this is one of my favorite sushis, is Ikura. It's fantastic, just for the sensation of that popping explosion of ocean in your mouth. So worth it. I think it's kind of obvious, but I'm gonna say it anyways. You should like ocean flavors, otherwise you won't like caviar, right? Anyways, try it anyways, because maybe caviar will be the thing that changes your opinion. Oh my gosh, this one is the most beautiful in my opinion. The smoked trout roe. Mmm. Wow. I'm dropping right and left. That one has the best pop. The spheres feel tight. The bubbles go bing and explode in your mouth. It's kind of what you imagine Orbeez to be like if they popped, but they don't. It's like more like water balloons, but the sensation is marvelous. The flavor is fantastic too. Very smoky. Mmm. And again, it's complemented so nicely with the butter. What a beautiful combination of bread, toasted, butter, salty richness, and oceany, salty, briny, abundance right right here it's life in a ball it's fantastic Alrighty, my lovelies thanks so much for watching and big thanks to monocora for sponsoring this video if you'd like to receive 25 dollars off their starter kit please click the link down below or head over to monocora.com slash emmy and big thanks to brown trading for sending me these beautiful caviars thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it as much as i enjoy tasting it please like this video share it with your friends subscribe and i shall see you in the next one. To do, take care. Bye. I gotta hoover up every little one that escaped.